I have three gorgeous little sauces here. I made these in the same food processor at the same time. I have mayonnaise, tartar sauce, and ramelade. So the ingredients that I have out before me are, I have five eggs, but I'm just gonna be using the yolks, so we'll divide those out later. Uh, I have some cold ice water, 500 milliliters or about two cups of canola oil. I have some fresh dill from the garden, uh, and there's a little bit of tarragon and even a bit of fennel in here. Uh, normally you could just use dill, and if you don't have fresh dill, you can use dry dill. I've got some capers. I have some pickled onions, if you wanna know how to make pickled onions. I have a video on my channel for that. We're gonna have the juice of one lemon. I have some paprika, cayenne pepper here. You could also use Cajun spice, which I have a video for that on my channel. I got some salt here, some Dijon mustard, and a little bit of garlic. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna separate the yolks from uh, the whites in these eggs, and then we'll start to build the sauce. Uh, you're also gonna need some sort of a food processor. First thing I'm gonna do is separate out my egg yolks. And I like to just uh, use the back and forth method. We're just taking the egg yolk and moving it from one side of the shell to the other. I'm gonna save the egg whites for another dish. Now that our five yolks are in the mixing bowl, we're gonna squeeze in half a lemon right now. Also gonna add the Dijon at this point about a good tablespoon of Dijon there. And I'm gonna add some garlic, some minced garlic, about a tablespoon of that as well. Both the garlic and the Dijon are really good at emulsifying sauces. So they're really there to help us make sure that our sauces don't break on us. The lid goes on and we're just gonna mix those things together. I like to have a rubber spatula handy to just clean off the sides. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna slowly add our oil. So we have two cups of canola oil and this is gonna be the base oil for our mayonnaise and other sauces. Now I'm gonna slowly add it and I'm occasionally gonna add a little tiny bit of ice water, which I find helps with the emulsification and helps keep the sauce from breaking. Uh, we're gonna add all of this slowly. And as I'm doing it, I may stop the mixer to scrape down the sides uh, if I feel that needs to happen. And I'm also gonna keep an eye on the thickness of the mayonnaise in here uh, to make sure that it's not breaking. So just slowly pouring, spinning around nicely. I'm just gonna add a tiny bit of cold water. I'm just gonna stop it for a second. Scrape down the sides. And you can see here that it is Definitely holding together. Uh, if it was like looking curdled or you know breaking apart, then you would know that you might have to add another egg yolk or you might have to add something like xanthan gum to bring it together. But so far, so good. I'm gonna add just a little bit more cold water and continue with the remaining half of the oil. Okay, this is our first sauce that we've just made, which is mayonnaise. Now to complete this sauce, I would add a pinch of salt and maybe a little pinch of cayenne. You could taste it to find out how uh, sharp it is, like how acidic, and I could add some more lemon to it. This is nice and thick, and it's a very, yeah, very nice looking mayo. This is our first sauce. Let's call this mayo. If you wanted to make it more garlicky, you could add more garlic. If you wanted to add some other things to it, you could go ahead and do that, but that's mayo. Now that we've done that, let's take it the next step and we're gonna make this into tartar sauce, which is commonly used to accompany fish. So we're gonna add in some pink onions. I have a video for pink onions if you're interested. We're gonna add some capers and I have some fresh dill here from the garden. I've also snuck in a piece of tarragon here because I also have tarragon in the garden and I just think that that would be nice. If you don't have fresh dill, you can always use dried dill. So now that I have these three things in here, I am just going to blitz it up a little bit longer. Now it's up to you how chunky you want the capers and onions. If you want it really smooth so you can put it in a squeeze bottle, you want to grind it for a while. 
but otherwise you can just keep it pretty pretty rustic pretty chunky gonna go a little longer all right so now we have tartar sauce and you can see that's really nice and thick it'd be fantastic with a piece of fish so sauce number two tartar sauce now I'm gonna take half of this out because I need tartar sauce in the restaurant and then we'll go forward and we'll make our remoulade so remoulade is just basically tartar sauce that is spicy so I'm adding in some cayenne and some paprika to make it pretty spicy about a teaspoon of each I'm gonna add in a little bit more salt and now I'm just gonna mix this up you can make it as spicy as you want it to be. You could use a Cajun seasoning in this. Now, what I like with Ramalad is that I want it to have a bit of a red color to it. I decide how much pepper, how much cayenne or paprika I'm going to put in there based on how red I want it to be. So, and also how spicy it's going to be. I find a spoon here and just give this, I think it could be a bit spicier. So I'm going to put some more cayenne in there why not now we have our third sauce which we'll call remoulade basically spicy mayo spicy tartar sauce so now we have our three sauces from one technique mayonnaise tartar sauce remoulade if you enjoyed this video and would like to see similar content please like and subscribe to my channel